Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. is so good that you're un you're in danger the entire time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defense. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice one through there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Nice punch lands over the top. Right hand upstairs. Nice leg kick. Punch to the body. No good, he's blocked. Yeah, nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind him real well. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie crush. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Chor. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big ball for the land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Continues to mix it up, coming to the head, mixing in some body shots. Slips. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Huge uppercut. Big punch lands through the middle. Whiffs on the right hand. Just misses there with the left. 
Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good punch. Ten seconds to go in round one. What a right hand by this young man. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number Ready? of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Got clip with the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. That was up in. Nice strike. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Single collar tie now. Throwing that jab now again. The fight of eight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Just out of range with that left hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He's able to slip the left there. Great upper body movement defensively slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. And they separate. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Out of range with that kick attempt. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. A single collar tie there. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. 
He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, nice right hand. Nice kick there by Choi. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Big head kick land. Good stick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here. Now. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. He blocks the punch. Big kick land. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Ooh, what a punch. All right, single collar tie now. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Big kick. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Beautiful body kick. Visibly limping here. That's a big strike right there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Dig and kick. Right hand upstairs. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Punch there by Choi. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice leg kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Great punch. Working out of that southpaw stance. He lands flush with that right hand. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shots. That's incoming. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
Oh, big left hand there. Beautiful kick. Just misses with the jet. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice punch, man. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Eats the elbow there. Head kick. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. He's, he's limping now. Nice strike. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Straight right, he misses. Head kick lands. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, collar tie. The Korean Superboy gets crushed with that hook. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Switching stances here. Straight punch lands. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big kick lands. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. How good is that right hand? Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may slow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Choi circling now towards the left. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Back to the feet. his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his low, and now he's got a first 
very bad. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Body attack, and it's blocked. Two minutes to go in the round. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Trying the flying knee there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Choi gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. You got to check these low leg kicks. Back and forth we go! He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Nice one-two combination there. Nice head kick. Big punch land. Ooh. 45 seconds remain in the round. Real quick leg kick. Oh, big right hand, yes. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Oh, big punch lands. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Right hand on point. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had popped the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick and all I can think of Better him than me. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big body kick land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Nice punch there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Combination there by Choi. Just unable to quite find that range. Connects with a right. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Trying to double up on that jab. 
Three minutes now to go to decide this one. That was a thudding leg kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Now connects with a right. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Nice kick. Choi's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Choi. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Beautiful strike. Wow. Nice body kick. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Big knee lands right through the bonus midsection. One minute to go in the fight. Big kick lands. Beautiful slip and counter there by the Korean Super Bowl. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. There's no give on that leg kick. Missed with that right hand. Hook to the body, blocked by Choi. She's punch over the top. technique on the straight right hand. Oh, big head kick. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Joy gets lit up by that straight punch. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, Jim. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Played the winner by unanimous decision.